Hello everyone, welcome back to Fable Anniversary, I'm back at Archon Shrine after I did a little bit of running around off camera to get more health potions and clean up my appearance a bit, cause yikes. I don't think anything is going to be better than this sort of Aeons. I wonder what the difference between the sword would be if I hadn't imbued it with the blood of my family. Oh, this is interesting. Off the map, as it were. I'd say that was worth it. Well, it looks like there's probably going to be some trouble here, since it's a big open area, and oh, hello Briar Rose. There you are! So how was the cruise? Me? I'm more of a teleporter girl. Good thing your seal set the local ones off. I've managed to get a good look around, and this pile of stones might be worth investigating. See all those inscriptions? I'm heading back to the guild to work on the translations. You should carry on to Snowspire and speak with Scythe. He's waiting for you. Catch you later! Always a pleasure. Spheres. Welcome to Snowspire, hero. Walk with me. Speak of your journey. Summoners have reached Hook Coast. Then there is less time than I thought, and I have much to tell you. I arrived here many years ago, when the guild believed Jack of Blades would use the Snowspire Oracle in his search for the sword. Now it is we who are in need of its wisdom. To speak with it, we will need the glyphs of inquiry. They were hidden in the age of Archon by four acolytes, who buried them deep the haunted necropolis. I will send word to the necropolis guards to grant you passage. This guy... He must have like six testicles for his voice to be that deep. Not to mention that I'm getting a serious villain vibe from him. Perhaps it's just playing off of the recency of Maze's betrayal. What kind of a shop is this? Hmm, a closed one. Right, well. Bagger that then. I'm keeping you under surveillance. Yeah, I'll give you something you can keep under surveillance, mate. Well, since the arrow is sending me back that way, I want to see what's over here. Oh, uh, really? Is that it? Just another fishing spot? Yeah. Can't be bothered. Huh, looks like a giant poker chip. Also a clock. Nope, nope, not that way. Oh, hello. Ow.
Yeah, I'm a little more concerned about that guy back there, but... He seems to be moving quite slowly. Frosty undead. And very not threatening. Moving on. Oh, bugger this. I don't have the patience for them. So I told us to let you in. Well, I guess you better shine fruit. Yeah, nice try, Mungo. It's your turn, and you know it. Ah, nuts. All right then, follow me. I like how they have different uniforms to better fit the northern coldness. Right, that's as far as I'm going. This place ain't safe, you know. The old town's full of ghosts. Folks say the poor beggars don't even realise they're dead. Anyway, take care looking for them, um... Glyphs, they're called, right? You're not the first one that's come rummaging for pieces of carved stone, you know. The others found more than they bargained for, though. Rotting corpses, a lot of them now. Anyway, have a nice day. Cheers, mate. Oh, so this is actually like a town of undead. Well, I'm guessing that's one. Oh, no. then if there's a method to it. got to say. Not close enough. Eh, it's not like I've been opening the boxes. Not too bother with it, really. Interesting room to find in what was a cold and desolate overworld. Hopefully something good is in this box. The Bereaver. Oh, this is actually stronger. Huh. One of the girl's most evil heroes. Yeah, sounds like something fitting to me.
We aren't really going to have to loot every single grave here, are we? If we are, that's going to be annoying. Oh look, it's a key chest that we couldn't have opened any road because I only had ten. There's got to be some trick to finding these glyphs then. You're not threatening, mate. Ugh. No, thank you. But it looks like it's going to be... Looks like there's not going to be much of an option. This thing's track. I mean, that's got to be... Yeah, that was my fault. I didn't hit it fast enough. So there's a wall here, too. Well, let's dig up another one, see what happens. Nope. Uh, this one's arguably worse. Not really, arguably. That one was worse. Bollocks. As I'm slowly chipping away at this thing's health, I'm noticing that some of the ghosts seem to be ad whispering advice. So perhaps the point is then to more closely listen to what these ghosts have to say. Bollocks. Huh. Oh. I was going to say, I just found a random tattoo somewhere. They were lying on the floor. Alex, I knew they did that, and I still fell for it. Right. So you were whispering. Come closer. Okay. Alright. We're back. That was tedious. So essentially, no, there isn't really a trick to it. It's suggested that 
the tombs that have the more positive things written on them are more likely to have the real tablets or the real glyphs within them. And the ones that have the more negative things are more likely to summon enemies to fight. And once you find three of them, the fourth one appears behind the, um, the barrier that was here that disappears after, especially disappear after killing that frost troll. Yes, that one. Why has it reappeared? Well, I think I might die. Run away. I'm learning. This is Sarkon here. Well done collecting those glyphs. <sighs> you should come back to Snowspire now and see if we have You've received a new quest card. Boy, Guildmaster, don't be rude. Scythe is talking. First things first, though. Wait, general shop? No, that's not general shop. Ah, charity shop. actually going to do. Yeah. Make it acceptable. And then sleep in it. There's no more potions. That's better. Uh, just for the hell of it. It's a nice decoration. And then we'll rent it out. Right, Scythe. Hello. Uncovered the glyphs. Very good. It is time we awoke the Oracle from its deathly slumber. O oh, great Oracle, grant us the knowledge we seek. What evil rises in this land? Summoners. He has used the blood of your family 
to feed his new shell beyond the bronze gate. But now his soul mass is in the hands. You must use it to feed the Archon's shrine and open the gate. Go now and face your destiny. So Jack has cheated death once more. Never have we encountered a being like him. I do not envy you. The Bronze Gate has long been a symbol of doom in this land. Return to Briar Rose at the shrine. Perhaps she can tell you how to use Jack's soul mask. I must return to the guild. May fate smile on you. You've received a new quest card. Shut it, Guildmaster. Well, that at least explains the presence of all the minions. Jack is still pulling the strings. Annoying bugger. Right, I think we'll call it a day here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please like it, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it very much. I'll see you all next time on Fable Anniversary, when perhaps we will finally be rid of Jack of Blades. Guess we'll find out. See you then.